On December 15th, as part of its ongoing exploration of Jupiter's inner moons, NASA's Juno spacecraft is scheduled to acquire photos of the Jovian moon Io. The solar-powered spacecraft completed a near flyby of Ganymede in 2021 and of Europa in the early part of this year and is now in the second year of its extended mission to research the innards of Jupiter. Juno's microwave radiometer, or MWR, during the flybys added a new dimension to the mission's exploration of Jovian moons by allowing scientists to peer beneath the water ice crust of Ganymede and Europa to collect data on the ice's structure, purity, and temperature as deep as about 15 miles, or 24 kilometers, below the surface. There seems to be a variety of geological characteristics on Ganymede's surface, including linear lines, that may be related to tectonic activity, as shown in visible light images taken by the spacecraft's JunoCam and by earlier missions to Jupiter. Data acquired by Juno's Magnetic Field, or MAG, and Jovian Auroral Distributions Experiment, or JADE, revealed evidence of the disruption and reformation of magnetic field connections between Jupiter and Ganymede. The Moon's ultraviolet auroral emissions have been seen by Juno's UVS, and they appear as two ovals that encircle around Ganymede. Jupiter's moon Io, the most volcanic place in the solar system, will remain an object of Juno's team's attention for the next year and a half. Their December 15 exploration of the moon will be the first of nine flybys, two of them from just 930 miles, or 1,500 kilometers away. Juno scientists will use those flybys to perform the first high-resolution monitoring campaign on the magma-encrusted moon, studying Io's volcanoes and how volcanic eruptions interact with Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere and aurora. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.